ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली मे इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट चिल्ड्रन नाउ दैट यू हैव फाउंड अल्लाह अल्लाह मिस नूरे इलाही मिस लाइट यू हैव टू पुट योर सेल्स द राइट वे अप दैट इज यू हैव टू कंसिडर योर सेल्फ टू बी सोल्स पुट अवर सेल्फ राइट वे अप मिस कंसिडर अवर सेल्फ एज ए सोल इफ वी कंसिडर अवर सेल्फ एज ए बॉडी दैट इज नॉट द राइट वे वी आर पुटिंग अवर सेल्स डाउन टू कंसिडर योर सेल्फ टू बी ए बॉडी मीन्स to become upside down totally reversed question by understanding which aspect can you develop unlimited disinterest without disinterest there is no love to baba interest means we have a love to the body own or others matters facilities etc answer this old world is now hopeless we can see the condition of the present world every nook and corner some war some natural calamities <clears throat> some civilian unrest everything is going on what baba shown everything in vision it is to become a graveyard the world is going to become a graveyard because everybody has to go back home they cannot go with the body with at home so they have to leave the body miss graveyard once you understand this aspect you can develop unlimited disinterest you understand that a new world is now being established new world old world is becoming graveyard doesn't mean that is total annihilation no baba says new world will come on this world only it is by understanding this one aspect sorry the whole old world has to be sacrificed into the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra sacrificial fire is created by rudra shiv baba and whole world has to be sacrificed in that then and then transformation can take place otherwise not it is by understanding this one aspect that you will be able to develop unlimited disinterest your hearts have now moved away from this graveyard our heart our intellect should be move away from this graveyard because nobody has a love for the graveyard graveyard where we are going to bury the dead bodies and dead bodies has no life so everything all the world will become like that om shanti in fact it is double om shanti because there are two souls in brahma baba in dada two souls one soul of dada one soul of supreme soul the original religion of both souls is peace Every, all the soul have original religion that is peace our religion is a body religion what we are calling hindu muslim sikh isai the father's religion is peace the children reside there in peace that is in the supreme abode and that place is called the land of peace <clears throat> the father also reside there the father is constantly pure but all human beings take rebirth and become impure this is the difference between the supreme god father and our self as a soul he is the ocean of all positivity he is not coming in the cycle of birth and death while we are coming 
the father says to the children what he says children consider yourself to be souls not the body you souls know that the supreme father the supreme soul is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of peace we only know other people know but don't know the meaning <clears throat> this is his praise he is the father of all and the one who grants salvation to all therefore everyone definitely has to has a right to the father's inheritance what inheritance do you receive from the father you children understand that the father is the creator of heaven and so he would surely give you your inheritance of heaven and who he would give you that in hell because inheritance of heaven cannot be in heaven at the end baba is coming at the end he is coming in the vicious world to transform this world to the viceless world it was ravan who gave you the inheritance of hell at this time all are residents of hell therefore you definitely received an inheritance from ravan there is both heaven and hell who is listening to this souls even on the path of ignorance it is soul that do everything but due to body consciousness people believe it is body is that do everything why people believe that body because body consciousness they say simply for sake of saying as a soul but they don't know they don't have the experience or realization of the soul so first lesson is soul realization if we have no realization of soul then we cannot become soul conscious <clears throat> so baba says believe that body is that do everything they forget that their original religion is peace and that they are residents of the land of peace because of body consciousness only we forget everything our home as well as our self you also have to explain that it is the land of truth that then become the land of falsehood this was the land of truth that is golden age gradually everything on this world become new from new to old same way <clears throat> this world also become from sati yuga to the kali yuga this is a sorry you have also explained you also have to explain that it is a land of truth that then become the land of falsehood bharat was the land of truth and later it become the land of falsehood the kingdom of ravan this is common aspect why can't human being understand this because souls have become tamo pradhan they are called ones with stone intellects when people become worshipers they defame the one who make bharat into heaven and worthy of worship when we lose everything all the knowledge then what will happen we even blame the god because our intellect become the more pradhan and stone intellect <clears throat> no one can be blamed for this but they are blame they are you can say becoming or they are defaming the god and they are becoming iron age world human being but baba say no one can be blamed for this because drama is continuously going on tick 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 every day going on when people become worshipers they defame the one who made bharat into heaven and what the of worship the father explains to you children how this drama is created and how you become worshipers from being worthy of worship only baba can explain this 
Nobody can explain this because we don't remember anything. We even don't remember what we had before 15 days. So no question of remembering thousands of years. The father explained that 5,000 years before today, there was the original eternal deity religion in Bharat, not a Hindu religion. It is only a matter of yesterday, but human beings have forgotten this. People have sat and made up all of those scriptures, etc. for the path of devotion. Why? Because we were not able to concentrate ourselves. Our original nature of the soul we were losing because of body consciousness. So to concentrate, to get that stage, that is stage, matlab, original quality of the soul, we were concentrating in different kind of devotion. Scriptures are for the path of devotion, not for the path of this knowledge. That is the reason Baba has to come and give the knowledge. There is no scripture created on the path of this knowledge. The father comes every cycle and gives you children this knowledge to enable you to claim a deity status. The father teaches you this study and then this knowledge disappears. There are no scriptures in the golden age because it is your reward there of the path of knowledge. <clears throat> you receive the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father for 21 months, and you then receive the short-lived inheritances of Ravan for half a cycle. About which Sanyasi says, happiness like droppings of the crop. Short-lived inheritance. Actually, there is no word of the half a cycle in Hindi Muni. It only say inherit a short lived inheritance. Why Baba says short lived inheritance? Because even in the Dwapuri, that is copper age, there is not much sorrow. Even before 300, 200 to 300 years, not this much of sorrow. So Baba says short lived inheritance of Rama. There is nothing but sorrow here. It is called the land of sorrow. Before the Iron Age, there is the Copper Age, and that is called the land of semi-sorrow. Baba has made the word, just like Silver Age is a semi-heaven. Same way Baba says, Copper Age is a semi-sorrow. This is the land of final sorrow, end of the Kali Yuga. The soul descends while taking 84 births. The father makes you ascend the ladder because the cycle definitely has to turn. No choice, Baba. Everything become, becomes a old from the new. It is a nature of the law. So everything go according to the law. When the new world existed, it was the kingdom of deities. There was no trace of sorrow. That is why they have shown a lion and goat drinking water together from the same pool. There, there is no question of violence. No violence, physical violence as well as violence of vices. It is called the most elevated non-violent deity religion which is totally disappeared from the, almost from the copper age. Because we became more and more body conscious. So Baba says, non-violent deity religion, it was most elevated. Here there is violence. The first violence is to use the sword of lust. Not only Baba says, it is said in the devotional Gita too, but they are not taking seriously because 
they see the world that it will not run without vices. So how they believe? So this is the problem. There is no one vicious in the golden age. People sing their deity's praise. They sing the praise of Lakshmi and Nara. And what is the praise? You are completely viceless. They know. They are singing. This Kali Yuga is the Iron Age of world. It cannot be called the Golden Age. The drama is created in this way. The Golden Age is the temple of Shiva. There everyone is pure and their image is still now exist. There are also the images of Shiva Baba who creates the temple of Shiva. He has been given many names on the path of devotion. In fact, he only has one name. That name is Shiva, his benefactor. The father does not have a body of his own. He himself says, I have to come in order to give you my introduction and also to give you this knowledge of the beginning, the middle and end of creation. <clears throat> I have to come and serve you. You call out to me, O oh, purifier, come. You do not call out to me in the golden age. Everyone calls out at this time because destruction is standing here. Why calling out? Because destruction people are seeing that we cannot avoid this. The people of Bharat now know that. Sorry. This will be the same Mahabharat war. All the signs of Mahabharat we can see with our own eyes. Then there will be establishment of original eternal deity religion. The father also says, what he says, I have come to make you into the kings of kings. Nowadays, there are no great kings or emperors, etc. It is now the rule of the people by the people. That is democracy. Rule by the people, for the people, of the people. You children understand that we people of Bharat were solvent, totally solvent. Unlimited wealth. Nothing was lacking. Everything was abundant. We used to live in palaces of diamonds and jewels. First the world is new, and then the new becomes old. It is a natural law. When we are losing our power, automatically we go down. Everything definitely becomes old. For instance, I will give example. A new house is built, and its life span then continues to decrease. Even our lifespan also continues to decrease when we are becoming old. It could be said that this one is new, that that one is getting old, and that the other one is in between. Everything goes through the stages of Sato, Rajo, and Tamo. God speaks. God means God. Because you cannot compare with anyone else. They don't even know who it is that is called God. They don't have the introduction of the God. There are no kings or queens here. There are presidents, prime ministers, and there are many ministers. In the golden age, as are the kings and queens, so are the subjects. The father has told you the difference. Those who are the masters of the golden age don't have ministers or advisors. They have no need of them. It was at this time that they took power from Sri Baba and claimed that status. It is at this time that you receive elevated instructions from the Father through which you claim a high status. Then you will not take advice from anyone. There are no advisors there. Advisors come into existence when you go on to the path of sin, when all your wisdom has gone. The main aspect is vice. 
vices are created through body consciousness. Out of this, lust is the number one vice. The father says, what he says, lust is your greatest enemy. You have to conquer it. No choice, Baba says. The father has explained many times, consider yourself souls, to be souls. This is the way how to win the lust. Consider yourself to be souls. Good and bad sanskars are contained in each soul. It is here, not in the golden age, that you have to repent for your actions. That is the land of happiness. The father comes and makes you children into residence of the land of peace and the land of happiness. The father speaks to you souls directly. He tells all of you, sit here with your intellects having the faith that you are souls. Renounce body consciousness. These bodies are perishable. You souls are imperishable. No one else has this knowledge. Because of not having this knowledge, they consider devotion to be knowledge. You children now understand that devotion is separate. There is a lot of difference between devotion and knowledge. In devotion, you have everything in physical way. No consciousness of the soul. While in knowledge, primary thing is soul consciousness. You receive salvation through knowledge. The happiness of the path of devotion is temporary because they become sinful souls and indulge in vice. This is the main thing. Why temporary happiness? Because of body consciousness. So whatever we are doing, that becomes a sinful. That becomes a sin. And why become a sin? Because of vices. The unlimited inheritance you had received for half this cycle finished from Copper Age. The father has now come again. Why? In order to give you your inheritance with which you receive everything. It includes purity, happiness, and peace. Children, you know that this old world is to become graveyard. Now, remove your hearts from this graveyard and attach them to the land of angels. The new world. It is just as when physical father builds a new home, his children move their intellect yoga away from the old home and link it to the new house. Even while the father is sitting in his office, his intellect would be in the new house. Baba give example. As somebody's father is constructing a new home, intellect of the children will go there, though they are working in the office. Those are limited matters. Baba is constructing a new world for us children. So our attachment or our, you can say, effort or our intellect should be at that world, not here. The unlimited father is creating new world of heaven. He says, break off your relationship with the old world and form a relationship with me, your father. I have come to create a new world of heaven for you. The whole of this old world is now to be sacrificed into the sacrificial fire of knowledge of Rudra. Baba says, it is a sacrificial fire of knowledge, not a sacrificial fire of anything which is physical. Rudra means Sri Baba. <clears throat> This whole tree has become tamopradhan and decayed. It is now becoming new again. Therefore, the father explained that these aspects are of the new world. When person is ill and become hopeless, it is understood that he is unlikely to recover. In the same way, 
this world has now become hopeless. We can see the signs of everything in the world. Since this world is to become graveyard, why should you remember it? This is unlimited renunciation. Those Hatha Yogi Sannyasis simply renounce their homes and businesses. That is a limited inheritance. While everything we are handling as a trustee, that is called unlimited renunciation. You renounce the whole of this old world. This old world will change into a new world. The father says, I am your obedient servant. I have come to serve you children. You called out to me, Baba, we have become impure. Come into this impure world, into an impure body. Just look at the kind of invitation you give to me. Ravan, whom you continue to burn, is the one who makes you impure. He is very strong enemy. Ramasya Vaisi is very strong enemy. You have received sorrow from the beginning of when Ravan came, that is from the copper age, through the middle and to the end. People continue to drown in this ocean of poison. The father now says, renounce poison and drink the nectar of knowledge. You have been so unhappy for half a cycle in the kingdom of Ravan because of the vices. You become so crazy that you sit and insult God. It is wonder that the one whom you insult the most is the one who makes you into the masters of the world. It is said, what is said? Beings that, human beings that they take 84, 8.4 million species where you can, you call me omnipresent. This is also fixed in the drama. He explains to you in an entertaining way, Asimaja, entertaining way. A good or bad nature and sanskars are hold by each soul. The soul says, I experience 84 births. It is a soul that shared a body and takes another. It is now that the father explained this. Nobody can explain this except the father. According to the drama plan, the father comes and puts those who have been turned upside down the right way up. The father tells you, sweetest children, don't sit here upside down. Means don't sit here in body consciousness. Consider yourself to be souls. You have now found Allah, God, the Father, who is putting you in the right way up. Ravan turned you upside down, and by being put the right way up, you are able to stand upright. This is a play. Only the Father sits and explains this knowledge. Devotion is devotion, and knowledge is knowledge. Devotion is completely separate. It is said that there is a magic lake and that by bathing in it you become fairies. That is Mansarovar on Himalayas. Baba is talking that Mansarovar. Then they say that Parvati was told the story of immortality. You are now listening to the story of immortality. Was it just one Parvati alone? who told this story. This is an unlimited aspect. There was not only one Parvati. Parvati means soul. The golden age is the land of immortality, whereas the iron age is the land of death. This is called a jungle of thorns. People do not know the father at all. They say, O Supreme Father, O Supreme Soul, O God, However, they don't know him. You too did not know him. We were also not knowing before coming to knowledge. 
The father has now come and put you the right way up. God is called Allah. Allah teaches you and gives you the status of gods. However, there is only the one God. We have a status of God means we are equal in quality and powers to him, but we are not God. Lakshmi and Narayan cannot be called a god and goddess because they take rebirth. God cannot take rebirth. I am the one who taught them and made them into those with divine virtues. All of you are brothers. You have a right to father's inheritance. Human beings are in immense darkness. They belong to the devilish community. They say that the Iron Age is still crawling in its infant stage, that it, is still, that it still has many years left. They are asleep in such a deep sleep of ignorance. They, that too, he is in the drama. There is no sorrow in the light that is in Golden Age and Silver Age. There is sorrow in the darkness of night that is Copper Age and Iron Age. Only you are able to understand this and explain to others. First of all, you have to give everyone the father's introduction. Everyone has two fathers. A limited father gives limited happiness. The unlimited father gives unlimited happiness. People celebrate Shivratri and so the father must definitely come to establish heaven. The heaven and heaven that past is now being established once again. This world is now Tamo Pradhan Hill. According to the drama plan, I come to play my part at accurate time. I am incorporeal. I definitely need a mouth with which to speak. The mouth of a bull cannot be used because we cannot understand the language of the bull or language of the animal. So human being is required. I use the mouth of this one, that is Dada, who is, the stage, who is in the stage of retirement in the last of his many births. I enter the body of this one who didn't know of his own birth, the Tatvam. We were also not knowing about our birth. Baba has told us, said us and explained to us. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baba Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children's love, remembrance, good morning, and say namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, mithe, sikala de bacho prati, mat pita, bab dada ka yad pyar or good morning, rohani, bab ki rohani, bacho ko namaste, ham rohani, bacho ki rohani, mat pita, bab dada ko yad pyar, good morning, or namaste, Shukriya Baba, Shukriya. Essence for Dharana, point number one. Just as the Father speaks directly to your to you souls, in the same way, have the faith that each of you is a soul. This is very important. Remove any attachment from this yard. Develop such sanskar that you never have to repent for your actions. Point number two, because the father is stable on the predestined drama, he never blame anyone and he even uplift those who insult him. So very good lesson we have to learn. We should never blame anyone. Become like the father in this. No one can be blamed in this drama because everybody is playing their part accurately. It is created accurately. Slogan, may you become a soul with all rights and remain free from having to work hard. 
how to do that thing by receiving blessings from the best tower of blessings at every step and that blessings we have to apply in our routine life baba explained the children of the best tower of blessings automatically receive blessings at every step from the best tower of blessings blessings are their sustenance they are sustained with the sustenance of blessings someone who has such elevated attainments without having to make effort is said to be blessed so you have claimed a right to attainments for birth after birth you now receive blessings from the best tower of blessings at every step and you will constantly continue to receive them for a soul who has all rights there is nothing but blessings blessing through drashti blessing through words and blessing through relationship slogan intensify by the speed of your efforts according to the speed of the time ever say time he is going in the last moments everything we are saying going to end so baba say increase the effort acha om shanti